essentially the plants are doing all the hard work here. <laughs> this has just been sitting in boiled water for about an hour. You can see the dye is bright yellow. I can't garden, I can't paint, but somehow I can make <laughs> paint from plants and this is my thing. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just show you how to make some red cabbage pigment from start to finish. This is my absolute favorite pigment to work with. We get this from a local farm and then we'll cover it with boiling water and you'll see an immediate color change. And then after a 10 minute blanch, it should turn purple. My name is Amanda Fan. I am the creator and founder of Boulder Colors. Basically, we make paints from plants. We use locally grown plants and locally sourced food waste to extract their natural dyes and turn them into watercolor paints. To make the pigments, you need to transform the liquid dye into a solid pigment. So to do that, we're gonna bind it to a metallic salt. After we add the mordant, we'll add the precipitator and you'll see kind of like middle school volcano <laughs> uh, reaction. This idea kind of sprang from just a random video I saw in the first week of the pandemic about avocado pit dying for homeschoolers. I did it with my kids and we all loved it and I kind of went down the rabbit hole from there. We've made, I would say, at least a hundred colors. I was making paints and wasn't using them. I had a basement full of paints. I was like, let's just do this. So I kind of turned this from like a small little kitchen project into this brand just by the response of the people who were buying the paints. This is the vampire protection kit, one of my favorites. We used all uh, protective plants that were historically used to protect people from the undead. So you can think like garlic and vervain, buckthorn. We did made this as a fun Halloween seasonal palette to protect you from the vampires. <laughs> I'm like obsessed with puns. I love a good plant pun. Have yourself a cherry little Christmas. We did all the, the pieces of the cherry tree, so the leaves, the blossoms, and the fruit. Um, yeah, I cannot resist a good plant pun. <laughs> One of my favorite parts about working with Boulder Colors is the collaborations we get to do. So this is probably one of my favorites with a local Mexican food restaurant, Summit Tacos. So this is like basically guacamole byproducts. So we have avocado pit, red onion skin, and cilantro stems. So just kind of put a little bit of water on to activate it first. You can just keep reusing these. These are very concentrated, so these will paint these four postcards and, and many more. Really, it's just kind of like feeling part of part of something. You know, I feel like I'm part of the the process. You know, I'm adding one last stop before compost. So these farmers, they were all going to compost this stuff anyway. But that's hey, man, that's that's free dye you're <laughs> you're throwing away there. We're giving these plants one more one more last bit of life. <laughs> The whole point is that it's small batch, handmade. I want to keep it true to the original mission. And um, I mean, my goal eventually is to put myself out of business by teaching everyone else how to make their own local paints so we can get rid of these toxic chemicals that we really just don't need. I mean, I know that's a bad business plan to say I want to put myself out of business, but that's truly the goal here. I have no ulterior motives other than connecting with my community and taking a little bit of waste out, creating a little bit of joy from it.